What's up, what's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of Roll Talking Healthy Food. Make sure you come on in, like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And if you rock with me all the way, then check me out on the gram at Roll Talking Healthy Food. But let's get into the business shout. Today, we're going to talk about this guy. I think his name is Steven Jackson. This is the first time I ever heard about this guy, but apparently he used to be somebody. So on his failed attempt to give some good, actually good advice and a message that's well needed within our community, especially the black community, but everybody, like all communities, okay, let's keep that real. But especially uh, the black community, because we have a lot of things going on in our community. So, you know, the message that, that he was given was just missed shot. And I just feel like it may not have been intentional, but at the same time, you have to be cognizant of that. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the times that we live in. Like, we all need to do better. But, you know, I'm going to get in, I'm going to show you what he said. And then we're going to talk about this bitter black woman thing. Okay? And if you don't really like black women, after I roll the clip and we get into this discussion, I'm going to give you another warning to step your ass up out of here because my tone and accent and diction tends to offend certain people. A lot of people don't like it when you're kicking a bunch of facts and you say things like fuck and, you know, to accent what it is that you're saying. You see what I'm saying? So this is my warning here. And then I'm going to give you another one. So then all the trill people can hang out comfortably. So if you're sensitive and you really don't like black, like real black women like that, and you don't like, you know, you, this, all that is me is offensive to your whatever the fuck you got going on this is your warning right here to make sure that you step your ass out of here so we don't have no dummies in the comments asking stupid ass questions okay so we want to extra go like this so we could get you uncomfortable off top so the trail can hang out okay all right that's warning number one Let's get into this clip. I want to tell y'all, find one woman, love her, and have families, and have babies with her. Do not have kids by multiple women. Listen to me. It's just overrated. It's just played out, and it ain't what you think it is. It ain't what you think it is, okay? Five kids by five women. Okay. Right? I take responsibility for laying down with them, making baby with them, making babies with them, and all that. I take full responsibility. You know what I'm saying? But three of them, I regret even knowing. Paid millions and millions and millions of dollars in child support. You know what I'm saying? And still I don't see my kids. At 42, my kids in high school. And in college. But keep this up. I'm saying this to say find one woman, love her, have kids with her, and build your family. Because having kids by multiple women, can destroy your life. I've been having three out of my five trying to destroy my life since the beginning of time. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I paid millions in child support and still don't see my kids. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm telling you this to, to tell you to be smarter, bro. Don't make the same mistakes I made. Find you one woman, love her, and have kids by her. Because having kids by multiple women can destroy your life, bro. Because a bit of baby mama ruins black men just as much as the police I judge as much as, as anybody, okay? They won't say that. And, of course, women won't say that because it's, it's, more, it's majority of them. 
But, fellas, we got to be smarter. Okay? We got to be smarter. I don't have problems with my kids' mothers unless they unless they done ran out of money. It's just facts, bro. It's just facts. But make be smarter. Make a better decision. Uh, don't be running around willy-nilly like I was doing and all that. And, you know, try to find your relationship and stay in that one, bro, because I'm telling you. You have a life of pain and misery and unnecessary stress. And it ain't nothing you doing. It's the bitterness of another person. Okay? So continue to love your kids and do whatever. And if you do have kids, love them. Just as you were in a great relationship with their mom. But if you don't have Sorry kids, for the shaking you take the time, okay. find you one woman, settle down and have kids and do it the right way. Because I'm telling you. Good. And the fastest way for a demise, demise of a black man, especially a successful black man, is to build a black woman. It hurts. You know what I'm saying? Brothers that's out here that ain't getting in trouble, that ain't selling drugs, what's wrong in their lives? Okay, Opportunity decisions. and build a black woman. And that's just the truth. If you ain't doing nothing wrong, you ain't dealing with the police. So what's, what, what else is wrong in you? Opportunity and build a black woman. Mm. It's just true. I had to share this with my youngsters out there, man. Don't be nothing off and everything like I did. You know what I'm saying? I take full, full responsibility. I don't regret my kids, but I take full responsibility for the situations and the drama that I've had all my life. I'm laying down with these women. You know what I'm saying? Love. Okay, so. He said it a few times, and it's just like, wow, bro. Not once, not twice, but maybe one. I don't, I didn't count, but I, he said it a few times, and I'm just like, wow. Let me tell you, let me tell you how I ran across the clip. First of all, I was on YouTube, and you know how when you're on your phone and it plays the video, even though you didn't click on it. Well, I seen it playing, and I really thought, like, man, he's hella fine, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I really like dark, dark guys, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, he looks like my friend Chris. Rest in peace, Chris. My friend Chris, he looks just like him. We used to kick it back in the day, and, be, like, good smile, all that. Like, you know, that's really what I thought. You know, but I didn't listen to what he had to say because my mind is on this other stuff and I'm trying to get myself back on the level, right? So I'm looking for different meditations and things like that and the things that I normally do, right? You know, listening to books, doing what I'm supposed to do. So I finally tune in. And I click on it. This is via Celebrity Life on YouTube, right? And I tune in and I'm just like, bro, like, are you, like, let's talk about this bitter black woman thing. See, this is what we're going to talk about here. And I'm going to get straight to the shit because I got to go to work, right? So, and I heard another clip from Grizzly. Um, on Instagram, another nigga who got his ass whooped talking about how he don't fuck with black women. I feel more ass whoopings need to be passed around for disrespecting. But that's just me. Anyway, what these fools never get into is why the woman is bitter. Why this situation was created. Because Let's keep it real, okay? We're going to talk about the women. We're going to talk about this bitter black woman. Then we're going to talk about trifling niggas. That's two. And trifling bitches. Three. We're going to break them down in the little... Three little minute segments. I'm not going to go super deep. I'm going to try not to. But we're going to go into that. And then we're going to wrap it up with a nice little bow. Ding, ding. Okay. The bitter black woman. Right? Why is said woman bitter? Okay. This is the generalization. Okay? We're going to... There's several. We see this all the time. All around us, right? 
There's this girl. She's fucking with some guy. He's generally like in a black realm, right? She's fucking with some guy. Look, we, he could be anything, right? Drug dealer. Let's just say he's a nigga that get money. It don't matter how he get money because if they're fuckheads, they're generally all the same, right? They get money. They feel like they can do whatever the fuck it is that they want to do. They feel like, oh, I'm the man. I'm the man. I, I've been with hell of these niggas. Like, for my whole dating time, I fucked with the really popular, rich, chasing money, all the bitches want them, ass type dudes. That's just what I like. I like the super fly head ass type niggas, like the nigga that had the fly car, the nigga that got all the dough, you know what I'm saying, um, and I was the lucky bad chick that got to sit in the front and ride in that bad motherfucker, like, I was the one, you know what I'm saying, the nigga came home to, with my little, there's certain shit that come with it on the woman's end, right, so I could dig it, I, I under, understand the dynamics, right, except, so we'll keep it there, so in that realm, the man feels like a woman is supposed to be a particular a particular type of way, right? And generally, the woman will conform to whatever standards they are that 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 is there because she is living a particular type of lifestyle, and regardless if it's legal or illegal. It's the same. You know, the woman has to carry herself a certain way. And in order to compliment him, that whatever it is that he represents, right? With that comes other women. There's going to be a whole lot of cheating. It's going to be other babies involved. It's going to be... It, it don't matter if the nigga's a motherfucking doctor. If he's a, a, a balling ass fuckhead, we're talking about balling ass fuckheads because he's a balling ass. Literally, he he's rich off of playing ball. So I already know what time it is. I can look at him and know. I thought about all my exes. Fine as shit. Ill body, all the just fine as fuck for no reason. Nice ass body, balling ass whip. What bitch is not big dick? Let's not let's not skip over that. Lays the pipe. It's always the nigga with the big dick. I'm excuse me for the, the shit, but this is what it is. This nigga's laying the pipe on all these bitches. He's got the money, the ill friends, the friends is fine as fuck. They pulling up in something ill. The bitches he's cheating with, he's making them feel extra special, hella out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So she's getting to meet the friends and getting the inside shit that you are in. You know, you know the baby mamas, the mamas, you coming to functions, family events, you know, all the shit. You're, you're wifey, right? You're wifey, right? Even though ain't no ring, right? So it, it, and so it comes with all that, right? So she's going through the shit with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga not coming home. This nigga going to the jail. This bitch going to the court cases. This bitch talking to lawyers. This bitch going on visits. This bitch fighting bitches because bitches put up a house to help your nigga and all that shit. When bitch, you didn't have to do that in the first place. This bitch, I already paid the lawyer. What are you talking about? Bitch had a flashback. Oh, my God. That kind of shit is that kind of shit, right? Because he's a balling ass fuckhead. It went balling ass fuckheads. They all act the same. You know what I'm saying? That's just what they do. They're pieces of fucking shit. So they're going around, laying the pipe, cheating on you. You hella loyal. You trying to be all on deck because you believe in whatever the fuck this nigga done sold you and all the shit, right? So how how is that uh better? How, how does that make a woman better? After you done been the niggas fucking every fucking thing, you know what I'm saying, and holding the shit down, doing what you're supposed to do all the fucking years, eventually a bitch gets tired, you know what I'm saying, eventually a bitch gets like, yo, I'm not about to fucking keep dealing with all these bitches, all this shit, you can have all the money in the world, it don't fucking matter, in my particular case, I didn't have no kids, why am I bringing it to me, because I'm speaking from experience. 
to think you could throw fucking money at a situation and it makes it, it resolves it all. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, you can have, you can roll around with thousands, racks on deck, I swear to God, and you could be miserable than a motherfucker. Like, money doesn't fucking matter if the nigga doesn't give a fuck about you. It doesn't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, it gets to a point where the situation is so broken, nobody wants to fucking step out due to ego and pride. The shit is a fucking whole ass mess. And pe the, the, the dynamic of the relationship is so toxic that they both become bitter out of the situation. So it's not one person who ends up being the black woman who ends up being bitter. It's that she's getting beat over the head with women, with babies, with you throwing money at her, with you fucking being a fucking piece of shit if the niggas putting the hands, slapping her around, you know, I, I don't know, there's diff there's levels to the shit, the nigga, it could be full on nigga punch you in the face, or the bitch gets slapped around a little bit, it, it could vary, you know what I'm saying, but generally, it's all the fucking same when it's that said woman who chooses to walk away. You see what I'm saying? And so when she steps away and she's like, I don't fucking need no nigga to get my shit together. It's not that she's fucking bitter. It's not none of those things. It's just that she has to be headstrong enough in order to move past the heartache and pain that this nigga has consistently caused over the four, five, six, seven years that they have been together. And so when she's tired of the baby, I'm begging, baby, I'm begging, because this nigga done cheated on her, begged for her, she done came back. She done cheated on her, probably had a baby, he done begged on her, she done came back. This bitch done left, went to her mama's house, trying to get away from the nigga, she done came back. This nigga slapped her around because he done did some out-of-pocket shit, and she done left, and then she done came back. This nigga done stayed out, never called, probably gone for a week, the nigga was in jail, she done came back, she done came back, she done came back, right? And eventually, a bitch get tired of fucking coming back, she just wanna fucking go and be gone for fucking ever. And then whatever it is that is you, let the chips fall where they fucking met. Okay, that's that's a a, a a general generalized oversimplified case scenario. So sift, sift what matches and sift out what do, does it. it. It's the same shit, just like baby boy. It's exactly like that kind of shit. Okay, he cheated on her, go fucking around on a whole bunch of bitches, and then he done begged on her, and she done came back. Except he just decided to change his ways. So that's that. Oh, except he was a broke fuckhead. But we talking about balling ass fuckheads. Trifling ass singing. Getting into the job. Not taking accountability of said actions and how they affect other people. That is narcissism at its finest. And a lot of women find themselves in these narcissistic situations where these niggas gaslight them and make them feel guilty and want to come back and accept the same bullshit that they rep repetitively have been dealing with for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 11, 12 years. That creates that toxic environment, which breeds bitterness amongst both parties. That's why this nigga feels like it's okay to cheat on her. He really don't give a fuck about that situation. But whatever it is, that soul tie, that soul tie between the two, it makes it extremely difficult to shake, especially if, let's just say, the sex is a bond. You know, for my particular case, it wasn't the sex. It was uh, the security, the comfort, the what he brought, the providing, the uh, things like that, the, the headstrongness, like he was really strong. Those are the things that made me stick around because, you know, he wasn't scared of no police. He, You know, it was different things. You know what I mean? So for whatever woman I'm talking about, it'll be whatever it is that, it is for her inside. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga, so remember, this is the two, the trifling niggas. So the niggas will see that and play on that and manipulate that shit into their advantage with no accountability, no true accountability. You know what I'm saying? And so um, taking an honest account for their actions and how those actions affected the person. You know what I'm saying? And truly and genuinely feeling um, uh, regretful 
and having empathy for that person for the pain that they cause. They don't have that. They don't know what that is and don't give a fuck and keep it fucking pushing. And it will keep it pushing on you so hard. But go fuck with another bitch, knock that bitch up and swear to God that he's in fucking love. Like, and keep that trifling ass cycle going. And in this particular case, when you're making multiple babies with different women, that's generally the case. There's something inside that's broken that that motherfucker ain't dealt with. And that's just what the TikTok is, okay? Let's move on to trifling bitches. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? The same thing where a bitch just don't give a fuck and she's just like, for example, listen, for example, and I, they used to be my partners, even though I'm not for that kind of shit. But be with a whole nigga, the nigga holding it down, like, like she ain't got to work. All she got to do is make sure that fucking dinner's on the fucking table, the house is clean, baby's taking care of the whole nine, right? But instead, you know what I'm saying? Instead of doing what it is that she's air quote supposed to be doing, right? Because I learned the submission, what do you mean? Supposed to be doing, you know, your womanly duties, bitch. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm hella traditional in that sense. So if a nigga puts you in a situation of that, then you need to be holding it fucking down and stay in your fucking place and keeping it cute and on fucking mute. But boom. But we're we're specifically talking about boom. We talk about trifling niggas, not trifling bitches, right? This is just an analogy and a generalized case scenario of what people say in a in general in a general way. All right, standardized testing. Okay, boom. You got the bitch. You don't put her in the position where all she got to do is hold it down. Okay, but instead, you know, the money that he gives her to get the groceries, to get the stuff, she fucks it off on some bullshit, like, okay, I'll think of my friend, for example, right, fucks it off, pop, go buy, uh, go, wanna pop some pills, buy some weed, drink, go drink, go out, kick it at the club, don't do none of that shit, hella neglect in the house, don't wanna keep the shit on deck, or maybe lightweight keep it on deck, but not really catering to the dynamic that created this for you, you know what I'm saying, for you to have those funds to be able to do what it is, that you're doing instead of fucking being uh um grateful of the shit you take that money fuck it off and leave that nigga dolo at the crib because you're fucking off and you, you got that though but you're looking for that fast instant gratification via other niggas on some janky selling you know nickel and diamond crack selling ass nigga so she's all for that because he's shiny in the club but really the nigga ain't shit trifle nigga, you know what I'm saying? But the nigga ain't really shit, but she want to fuck off and fuck with him. Meanwhile, she got the nigga that's really holding it down at the crib. You know what I'm saying? He don't know she really fucking around like that. He find out that she fucking around like that because his niggas know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Her 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 partners know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Except he the one. What's that one movie? The Family That Prays. You, you know that one girl where her husband was hella like cool, had this really great dream of owning his own business, and but she was so all in love cheating on the husband with the boss, the, the white dude, the white dude dropping uh, money on her, but it, it really ain't, it's on shaky foundation because he ain't doing what the fuck he's supposed to do on his back end. She don't know that. On the front end, he's shiny. He's on deck. You know what I'm saying? And she think he everything in the world because that fast money, dropping it in her bank account, 300 racks, just boom, boom. She's back in the mix. You know what I'm saying? But on the back end, his foundation is shaking than the motherfucker. She don't know that, though. But she's shitting on her nigga at home who's really holding her down. You know what I'm saying? Because she's a fuckhead-ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? So there's trifling niggas and trifling-ass bitches. And what ended up happening? Because of that shaky foundation that fuck nigga was on, a fuck white boy was on, right? His money got all fucked up. He got canned. All his business shit out the window. His shit was done for. And we'll use the hood analogy. 
This nigga get locked. He was a nickel or dime ass nigga. He didn't have that money for the lawyers. He didn't have that shit that holding him down. He wasn't thinking about that kind of shit. He was just selling selling the drugs on deck. He didn't have like the ill real bitch holding him down. Like you know, hold, you know what I'm saying. Meeting the lawyers, holding that shit down. You know, real bitches like me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, you know. He, he didn't have all that, so he ended up fucked up. And what ended up happening? Because she was a piece of shit ass bitch, she ended up losing the real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who was it? It looked all fucked off and slow because it wasn't that instant gratification that you was looking for. Cause you didn't fix whatever the fuck was fucked up inside of you. And what happens? You lose. You lose the ill shit. Now you fucked off altogether. You're. You're now. The nigga ain't holding you down. You wasn't, you didn't have your own though. So now it's just you out here. You know what I'm saying? So boom, that's that. In all, in both case scenarios, I got like four minutes because I got to go. Totally taking advantage of this time. But I'm just saying, all in all, you can't be no fuckhead ass person fucking off on somebody who's holding you down. No, that's number one. No, that, no matter what it is, you know what I'm saying. Number two, don't be no black dude. To now, let me give you some real game to the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's right. Don't be fucking having babies with hella uh women, and don't be sitting up there laying up with a bitch and then telling the next one that you loving her too, because that's how you create a better situation. With where a bitch is going to make you pay for her pain. You see what I'm saying? And so all that lovey-dovey shit you was kicking in the bed while you was laying the pipe on that bitch, that bitch believe in your lying ass. And you busting in her and all that shit is creating a soul tie. And, and for women, it's harder to break a soul tie than it is for men. Because we are receivers. You penetrate us. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a different thing than a nigga fucking you and a woman receiving that power. You see what I'm saying? We're meant to receive because that, that's how we carry babies in our womb. You feel what I'm saying? So because we're women, that that's how that's where our power lies. You see what I'm saying? So when you're disrespecting that power and that bond is broken, it creates a different certain set of scenarios depending on the bitch, on the woman. You know what I'm saying? And that's what time it is. So when you're creating that with multiple women, of course your life is going to be fucked up, you dummy. If you're breaking mad bitches' hearts, then what the fuck you think is going to go on, you fucking idiot? Don't blame it on one race. Because I know hood white bitches that will ride on the nigga for real. Bust all his tires and windows. I done seen it with my own two eyeballs, okay? Some of the hoodest white bitches, they hooder than me. I mean, get cold, nigga, okay? Get cold ass white bitches. You know what I'm saying? That go harder than the black women. What the fuck is he talking about? Some of these white bitches out here be more hood. No, I, I'm serious. Like, project bitch ass white bitches. Okay? Shout out to my girl, Kels. Okay? Like, I know, I know some hood ass white bitches. Okay? So, anyway, you know, with all that said, Steven Jackson, I didn't know who the fuck you was because clearly you're fucking irrelevant and you hang out with some trifling ass bitches. I'm going to need you at 42 years old to figure out what it is inside of you that is making you attract these kind of motherfuckers. Because that's why I keep saying I'm not up to par because I'm not attracting the real shit. You see what I'm saying? You attract how you feel. Whatever your frequency level is on is what you're going to bring in. That's what you tune it into. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever your frequency you on is what you tune it into like a radio station. So if you tune in into some bullshit, you're going to be listening to 102.5 WWW Balls. This is some bullshit. That's what you're going to be listening to. Everybody's got to hear the shit on W Balls. That's what you're going to be listening to. So that's all I'm trying to say.
So that's a real game for your motherfucking ass. You need to check yourself before you try to bring your bullshit on somebody else and then try to blame them for, for what the fuck you got going on side because you didn't have enough courage to check your own motherfucking self, look yourself in the mirror and see, well, damn, why do I keep getting these fuckhead ass niggas? Well, because you're a fuckhead ass bitch. It's time for you to get your money up and step your game up. That's the conversation you need to have with yourself. So anyway, I said what I said. If you watch to the end, you the bomb dot com. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your partner. Share if you care. Share if you dare. Okay. Shout out to the Care Bears. Okay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta get to work. I'm late. Uh, peace, love, and hair grease, and all that jazz. And I'll see you on the next one. Niggas, stop playing game. Bitches, get your money up.